What's going on, fellas? Here's the scoop. In this video, I'm going to be testing three different propane nozzles. I don't know if you've ever asked yourself the question, are all propane nozzles created equal when it comes to temperature? We're going to see what type of temperature we can get off the average propane torch. And before you tell me that it's got something to do with how big the flame is and all that, just remember I did a video last night with my small oxyhydrogen acetone flame, which is half the size of one of these, and it maxed this thermal couple out like it wasn't nothing. So let's give this uh, burns o matic kill you torch a test. Um, this torch right here will literally kill you and has literally killed a couple of people. And I know that because um, CBS News in Boston contacted me about my video of this thing shooting fire out the neck. What happens is fire will come shooting out of this hole. It will burn your hand. You'll drop the tank and then a small crack will form in the tank if it's full and you're high up in the air on a ladder or something. And then you get a levy explosion or blevy. Levy or blevy? One or the other. You're shutting up. So this is the burns o matic kill you torch. Okay, the second we lose a degree, that's when I stop the test. Going backwards, we ain't got time for that. So, now we're going to try the turbo torch. Properly named, I might add. And curiously enough, one feature about this torch that I heavily admire and, and realized just last night was this torch has a burn chamber. This much of this torch has combustion taking place inside of it. Um, when you're using map gas, this thing will even glow red hot. So they are using my heated combustion chamber idea. It's not my idea, it's common sense if you ask me. But they are using the concept of a radiant heat combustion chamber to increase the temperature of the torch. This is the turbo torch and we are about to see that is it will in fact exceed the temperature of your average propane torch. This is an average, this is a $50 torch here. Okay, here we go. Turbo torch ain't no joke. Okay, we lost a degree. Now, last time I tested this torch on map gas, we were only able to obtain 2,020 degrees. So, simply owning this torch runs you at map gas temperatures. So if you have a chance to come across one of these, you'll often see them at a flea market um, for very cheap. You can't buy them in stores. I'll try and leave a link in the description for this torch because I'm telling you, you can braze with this thing right here on propane. But let's try map gas with this torch. Oh, different flame pattern for sure. Much different flame pattern. Trying to hide a spot here. Definitely heating up quicker. What is this, propylene? It should be about a hundred degrees hotter. So there you have it. I'm not going to bother doing the other torch. But for the purpose of illustration, even a map gas torch with the turbo torch, the temperatures do not exceed the air assist system.
starts going backwards in temperature, there's really not a lot of sense messing around with it. Plus I'm wasting huge amounts of fuel for information we already have. That's a wrap. This thing is mighty indeed. That's what I'm talking about.